joke of the day. Red sky at night. Joke of the day, red sky at night, shepherd's delight, blue sky at night, day. So I'm out on the South Downs today, um, not been here before, going on a hammock camp, not sure where I'm going, but um, I'm meeting up with um, Cole from Outdoor Gear Essentials website if you want to buy any land shanties, nature hikes or anything lightweight camping from a UK based company so quick delivery he's a man to speak to um, he's also got a YouTube channel um, South Coast Outdoors UK I think it is I will put a link in the uh, in the description below just trying to find don't know where I'm going really Go and say hello, have a watch of his videos. Um, he's a nice chap. And I'm not just saying that because he sells my tables. Um, but yeah, he's a good guy. Looks after customers really, really well. So if you do buy anything, you get the backup of a UK seller as well on top of that. So he sent me a link to where he's camped here before. So I might have to stop and check my phone, see if I can find it, because I'm just meandering around aimlessly. Uh, but I've also got a uh, couple of new things to try tonight. One is a different type of food. Yeah, you heard it. Um, I, I was sent a, um, a British Army uh, MRE, 24 hour ration uh, MRE. So um, it's too much for me to eat in one go, but I'm going to try that tonight. Um, that was sent out. Oh, I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember the chap's name. I think it was David Jones, but he posted it out to me um, as a freebie just to just for me to try out really. So that was nice. So I'm going to give that some uh, give that a go tonight. See what it tastes like. Um, and I've also got a new new little piece of homemade equipment to try out. So give me your, give me your thoughts and views on that when you see it. Right. Well, I've come right up to exactly where the. Uh, the map coordinates are that uh, Cole sent me and it's on the path so I'm not sure it's perfectly accurate and he's not coming down till late so I'm not really sure where to go and how busy this path is I don't know if you can see it behind me but it's a looks a fairly well trodden path so I'm not sure that's quite right. It's gonna have a mooch about. So we've got an injured bird of prey here. You're a young one struggling to fly. Sweating now, it's quite humid in here. I think I found a spot. So there's enough space to get my hammock between these two and hopefully one of these trees around here. Well, Two of the trees around here, obviously, for Cole's hammock. Right, I'm going to get it up, the hammock, and uh, come back to you in a bit. So my original Novice Wild Camper ultralight table, um, I designed it for me. I like to build stuff, have a bit of fun designing it, building it, um, and enjoying it. And it's gone through a few different variations since I first started. So. And this is a sort of the final one now with the um, uh, the windshield that attaches to it as well. But now I'm hammocking. This thing's fine, but it's too low to the floor. 
So if I'm sitting in my chair, that's all right. But if I want to sit here in my hammock and have a drink, or lay in my hammock, or have my food cooking next to me, if I'm sitting here underneath the tarp in the rain, then this is really quite low and a bit of a pain to get to. So I thought, let's have a try designing something else. So this is it in its very basic form at the moment. This is total prototype. So I want a bit of feedback from you guys, tell me what you think. So since I made my table, a lot of people started asking about them, wanted to buy them. So I started to sell them on eBay and I started to sell more and more and more. And then obviously Cole from Outdoor Gear Essentials bought a batch of them, started selling them on his website. So now they all go through there. So I'm not looking to do this, to do the same thing. I'm starting this out for the same reasons why I started my other table out. And that was to build something that I wanted to build and design um, that helped me. And if other people see it and go, great idea, I want one of those, let me know and I'll build you one. But you can build one yourself as well. So this is essentially it in its barest form. And it might, I might change it again, yeah. I am looking at a different piece of material. So this is a, an aluminium sheet exactly the same size as my other table um, with a hole drilled through the centre three holes drilled in it for the windshield as well so the windshield will still fit on this um, and then I have an extendable leg so this goes in the ground you can make it higher or lower tighten it up and away you go now this weighs 300 grams in total so not as lightweight obviously as the, um, the world camping table 73 grams but when I sort of thought about this and had a design and an idea in my head, I started researching and looking on Google uh, and on YouTube to see if there was anyone else out there that did something similar. And there is. So Po Molly, you've probably heard of them. Po Molly make the stoves. Um, they work alongside uh, Lone Wolf 902 um, and they sell a lot of camping equipment. They make one, titanium. Um, and I would have thought that would be incredibly light. But it says it weighs 500 grams. So that's heavy. It comes with a couple of small silver sort of shot glasses, but I don't really see the point in that. Um, and there's another company, can't remember the name off the top of my head, Best Buddy I think they're called. I'll put a link in the screen. Um, and they're based out in Germany and they do something similar. And theirs is 310 grams. So again, this is actually lighter and I haven't done anything to this to, to really lighten it. So this is my, the first incarnation. So I'll set it up and I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works. So I had designed this with um, a screw with a, um, an Allen key, two and a half mil Allen key that you need to use to tighten it up. However, the problem is I've ordered two long screws. So the screw, if you put the table on it, it wobbles about because the screw's too long. So I've actually put like a little rubber grommet between the screw and the actual table leg. So that there. Now, that's not going to be the final design. As I say, this will go through several changes, but it's just the first one. Um, but it actually works quite well because this allows it to tighten up without having to use a, uh, an Allen key. So, um, by accident, I've sort of worked out a better way of doing it. So basically, that goes through the, oops, wrong way around. Screw goes to the tabletop, rubber grommet underneath, and then we thread the leg on. You can see that. As I say, we'll get shorter screws, so this won't be as lengthy an operation. And because it's rubber, all I've got to do is put my finger on top of that, and now that is a solid tabletop. There you have it. My hammock table sitting next to me. So I can lay here. I'm not in my hammock properly because I've got boots on. I can lay here with my food, my drink, sitting next to me, or I can sit up in my hammock, cook, drink, have a beer, whatever I want to do. Windshield. If you are cooking, and I've got my alcohol stove tonight, 
people go into the little holes in the tabletop. So you've got a solid top, put your stove on there, cooking away you go. Cheers. Let's say you enjoy a cider in a hammock. See so yeah, a little shout out to uh, David Jones. Uh, he's doing a five day survival challenge for the Royal British Legion. Um, he's, he's got a, uh, a Just Giving page, which I'll put a link in the description uh, below. Obviously it's a very good cause. And uh, he also sent me out, um, he's in the military, and he sent me out a British 24 hour MRE ration pack. It weighs a ton, it's ridiculously huge. Um, I didn't bring any food at me tonight and I was going to just pick up the usual noodles and I ran out of time with work and one thing or another so I thought I'll just bring this along I'll go through it with you and tell you what's in there because it's a vast amount I know a few people have done reviews on these um, not too sure what I'm going to eat tonight and tomorrow but we'll see I'll show you so the main meals there's a uh, chicken sausage and beans This is a huge amount to eat in 24 hours. I don't eat this much. There's a chicken curry with potato and rice. Debating which one to have tonight. There's also a pasta bolognese. So there's three sort of main meals. There isn't really a breakfast one, so I'm not too sure what, which one I'd have for breakfast. There is a, uh, a lime flavored powder drink. There is a vanilla flavoured cake. That'll go down well tonight. A pack of salted peanuts, 50 grams. Uh, a fruit pouch. This reminds me of the things my my, uh, my kids have. My, my son. It's a mixed fruit pouch. It's like Christmas, this. Fortified energy drink. Don't really need that. There is some biscuit browns. Interesting. Uh, another flute, fruit flavoured drink powder. Not a flute flavoured drink powder. A tutti fruity flavoured drink powder. All I can say is the British Army drink a lot. Obviously it's good for energy. Um, what is this? Uh, flapjack. So it's a little flapjack. Hot chocolate drink. It's quite chunky that. I have that before bed. Some kind of an apricot jam, I'm assuming, a spread maybe. Put it on the cake. Spork, that's quite a decent one actually, that's a good size. I might use that instead of my normal titanium one. Some uh, sterilising tablets for water. Some hot sauce. So this is a spicy red chilli sauce if you want to beef up your food a bit more. Some windproof matches and a little striker. And in this bag we have a pack of tissues, always handy. Uh, there's two packs of um, alcohol free antibacterial wipes dental gum saves brushing your teeth and then we've got sugar 
What is that? Creamer for your coffees and teas. Assuming there's coffee and teas in here. So we've got one tea, two teas. Oh, is that the coffee? Can't even see. I'm assuming they're coffees. This one feels a lot smaller. Yep, that says coffee on it. So does that. So you get two coffees, two teas, sugars, creamers. Everything needs five twenty-four hours. How cool is that? So yeah, big thanks to David for sending that out. Um, much appreciated. Feeding me for the night and the morning. Um, so yeah, if you take a look in the uh, channel below, in the link in the description, there'll be uh, the link for his Just Giving page. So it's a, it's a good uh, a good charity. Um, he's had a few donations already. So if you can pop on there, any donations, uh, five day survival challenge. Be interesting to see how he gets on with that as well. Anyway, good luck, David. So I was just about to say it's getting chilly because the sun's gone down. There was no sun today, so it hasn't gone down. It's just got darker and colder. Just having the uh, salted peanuts, a little pre-dinner snack. I feel quite spoilt tonight. I've never had so much food and so much variation of food as well. Table's working well. I'm debating whether to change the top for Perspex instead of aluminium, which might be heavier. I'm not sure how heat resistant it is if you've got an alcohol stove on it. So I'll probably have to test that out at home to see how well it works. But it'll be um, a more grippy surface, I think. Because it's quite smooth, the aluminium, so it can slide about a bit. Um, and also less noisy, so when you're putting your can down, it's not make as much noise, but we shall see. It's all about experimenting. Right, well, my chicken curry with mash and whatever it was, is on the go. Table holds up perfectly well. It is a little bit wobbly, but it only moves, it won't fall over because it's embedded into the ground. I could lower it down for a bit more stability, but um, it takes the weight fine. Bring in mind, that's a heavy ration pouch of wet food, so it's not dehydrated, with a 750ml uh, titanium mug full of water my um, stove obviously and the little windshield I haven't put the big windshield around it because there's no real wind so I haven't bothered and a new full can of Thatcher's so yeah it's holding up the weight okay I like that line. It's nice, that's cool it? isn't it yeah. right I'm just blinding him now yeah you are blinding me Cole's here <laughs> <laughs> finally here there you go I'll dip the light yeah he managed to find us I was a I bit was, uh, um, running around the woods thinking I was never going to get here but uh, yeah Made it. Eventually. I thought, I didn't think I was being stealthy with this thing on, but he still couldn't find me. I had to stay with my head torch on and shouting out, <laughs> shouting out, hello, like some weirdo in the middle of the woods. So yeah, so Cole's yeah. here, as I said before. Um, South Coast Outdoors UK is your, your YouTube channel, so yeah. go, go and say hello. Go and say hello, um, give me a sub maybe. And obviously, um, Outdoor Gear Essentials. Yes. The main, of... the main man for... Uh, for lightweight camping gear, so anything you want, UK supplied, as I said before about the Z-Packs. Next Z -packs. day as well. You've got the Z-Packs um, clips coming now. I've well, got you? loads of Z-Packs clips. So I've got yeah. the Z-Packs clips. I've got some of those lovely bags. Did I send you a bag? No. Oh, I didn't, did no. I? You I don't send me anything well. anymore. Don't send no, anything anymore. Send me, no. Well, the, the, the bag liners, pack yeah, liners. Yeah, pack liners. Yeah, they're um, pretty good. Knife flume pack liners. Yeah, we've got those. We've got loads of tents. We've got uh, Novice Wild Camper, lovely tables. Which he's not using tonight, but I have wine. I've got one on the floor oh, there. Yeah, oh, so I was, I was, I was, I was talking about it as a, uh, a comparison to the comparison. Uh, to the new prototype table. Yeah, no, that, that does look good. Yeah, it's working. My food's getting cold now. Oh god, sorry, I didn't realise. That's no, all right. I left it oh, sitting right. there. So yeah, I've got my uh, chicken curry MRE, MRE on. Lovely. 
So uh, I'm going to knock that down now while uh, Cole gets his... Well, I'm going to have a laugh up. watching Cole getting his hammock up in the pitch black. Yeah, don't say that in the wrong way around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you in a bit. Cole's setting up his hammock over there. I'm just tucking into my um, chicken curry with potatoes and rice. It's pretty nice. There's a lot of chicken in it. And lots of potatoes. It's actually quite tasty. The army gets well. Hmm. Well, you can buy these. I've seen them on eBay. People sell them. They're not cheap. But I think in comparison to camping food, they're probably on par. But it's pretty tasty. The British Army can uh, march on it, and I'm sure we can. in the sack. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I'm being quiet because Cole's still asleep. He's snoring his head off over there. I've been up since about six o'clock, so it's nearly seven now. I had a really good night's sleep last night. Some weird dreams. I dreamt that I'd um, pitched my hammock in the dark, and when I woke up, it was right next to the first hole on the golf course at the tee and there was like 30 people tripping over on my um, guidelines and knocking them out of the ground and all getting the ump because I was really their game of golf it was weird quite funny though <laughs> coffee on need this Lovely bluebells. Like a small carpet of bluebells across the uh, noisiest bike in the world. As you can tell, we're still relatively close to the road. Um, as I was saying, carpet of bluebells across the um, woodland floor. It's a lovely little spot, this. Well, the coal's woken up finally. 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 It's, ni it's nine o'clock. This is respectable time. <laughs> Just got his uh, coffee on the go. Lent him one of my uh, my cappuccinos. Yeah, well, not lent him. I don't want it back, obviously. No. <laughs> They're really good. You have one for? No. They are tasty. Uh, so I'm not having breakfast as such because there isn't really one in this MRE pack. Not a normal breakfast, but um, I'm just going to have these biscuit browns. They feel a bit broken up, so I don't know what they're going to be like. Not that I can open it. 
Jesus. Well, it's not what I expected. It's like a cracker. I thought they're going to be chocolatey. Why put the word browns on these up? It's like a rich tea biscuit. I like those, um, I think it's from Aldi, they do a, it's kind of like a hard flapjack. But they're, they're really good. So you need a lot of water with it, but. Mm. Oh well, it's breakfast. Well guys, that's, that's all packed up now. Um, it's only really a, a quick, short camp out. So a big thank you to Cole for uh, for bringing me out tonight. Or last that's right. Night. Welcome, that's a nice little camp. You had a good laugh, a few nice. beers, a little fire. A little fire and a beer, it was nice. Yeah. Weather was all right. Yeah, it's been good. So, um, Quite warm this morning. So sun's come up this morning, yeah, it's all right. So as always, leave no trace. That was where I camped last night. The fire has been completely cleared. Um, you can't see it on here now. <laughs> got the got the wrong uh, got the wrong POV on it. Um, so yeah, everything's cleared up. Leave no trace apart from my bag of rubbish that I'll be bringing with me. Hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. As always, if you liked it, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.